Kim, what is our second main topic today? This comes from Daniel Vasquez. Hey, John and crew. Last year when theaters started to reopen, you made a list of some 2021 movies that you think could hit the billion dollar mark in 2021 and by how what percentage of a chance they got. So I was wondering, we're in a brand new year and I was wondering if you could do it again. With the 2022 movies, see if they have the potential to cross the billion dollar mark. Thanks and bring on the filthy. All right. Mm. Thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah. Okay. So let's, let's take the last story we just did and put that aside for a second. All right. So taking that out of the equation, what films do we see as being, you know, Spider-Man No Way Home just became the 49th member. It gets, so, you know, the avatar came up behind it. The Russo brothers came up behind John Watts to put the green jacket on them. Welcome to the (laughs) billion dollar club, the 49th (laughs) member of the billion dollar club. What is going to be member number 50? And now we got some options in front of us. We've got the Batman is coming out. Doctor Strange 2, Thor Love and Thunder, uh, and and a couple of others. Avatar 2. There are a number of contendents. Contendents? That's contestants and contenders mashed into one. Contendents, I've created a new word. There are a number (laughs) of contestants for being that hollowed 50th member of the club. So what do I think it's going to be? I don't think it's going to be Morbius. Um, no. And look, I think Morbius is going to get a big bump from playing in front of Spider-Man and what happened in, in Spider-Man, all that kind of stuff. But it's not going to be a billion dollar film. The big question is, could Batman? That that's That's the question to me. Could the Batman be the billion dollar film? And I'm going to say no. I don't think the Batman... Now, you guys know it is my number one most anticipated film this year. It is my, actually by a good margin, it is my number one most anticipated film this year is The Batman. But considering, uh, there's a few factors. Number one, there's going to be a little bit of a confusion issue. We've had a lot of Batman lately. They're doing bullshit on CW and they've got they've got the confusion going on with, well, Ben Affleck has been Batman. Well, now Michael Keaton is Batman. and now And then, of course... Rob's or Ray's favorite. Twilight boy. Twilight boy. Twilight boy. Uh, there's still a lot of people out there who, are, who haven't gotten around the fact that Robert Pattinson is Batman. And I think they're going to learn pretty damn quick how good of a choice that was. You know, the story about him refusing to work out notwithstanding, but how good of a choice that that was and what, how he's become a world-class actor in the last, you know, seven years or so. But when you put all that in, look, they had a movie called Batman versus Superman and that couldn't make a billion dollars. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say, while it is my number one most anticipated movie, I do not think that's going to join the club. I think the next one up to join the club is Dr. Strange too. Uh, it's got a couple things going for it. Number one, it is a sequel. So it's building upon a previous established thing. Dr. Strange has played a significant role now in the MCU for a while. And of course, this is connected in with Spider-Man No Way Home, which is enjoying, you know, it, it, Spider-Man No Way Home just may hit 1.5 billion, which with when we found out it couldn't play in China, I really didn't think 1.5 was going to be on the menu. thought a billion was, but I didn't think 1.5 and it could very well hit 1.5. So I think that's going to help it a lot. Do I think Dr. Strange 2 makes more money than Spider-Man No Way Home? No. But could it be, do I think that's going to be the next pandemic notwithstanding? Do I think that is their next up in the billion dollar thing? I think yes. Thor Ragnarok is another one that has, or Thor Love and Thunder, I should say, is another one that has huge potential to be a billion dollar film. But that's going to have to settle for being the 51st, 52nd, or 53rd. And then, of course, you got to talk about the fish dragon in the room, which is Avatar 2. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, look, I've said for a long time, it, it's become the cool thing to bash on Avatar. It's now the cool thing. You're like, you're not cool unless you bash on Avatar. The reality is this. The first Avatar was a magnificent movie. It it was fantastic. I didn't think it should win Best Picture of the Year, but I thought it was absolutely wonderful. It was groundbreaking. It was imaginative. Was it Dances with Wolves in Space? Yes, it was. But it was still, who cares? It was still great. It was still really enjoyable. And it completely shaped the pop cultural conversation for a good six months. It hasn't had the legs that, say, Star Wars or Marvel or Harry Potter has, but it, for a long time it has. And I think everybody is sleeping. Everybody's saying, nobody cares about Avatar 2. You're wrong. I'm, I'm sorry, but you are 100% wrong. There are a lot of people who care about Avatar 2. And I think that's going to be a billion-dollar film. 
Do I think it's going to be a $2 billion film? No. But I think it's going to be a billion dollar film as long as it doesn't like isn't crap out on his first weekend or something. But I think so. I think we're looking at not Batman, but I think we are looking at Doctor Strange, Thor, and Avatar 2. Those who are the ones I believe are going to be the new members of the billion dollar club, all other things mm-hmm. notwithstanding. Rob, I know you had Avatar 2 listed as your number one most anticipated film this year, bucking the trend. So you look at the landscape in front of you. What's going to be the 50th member of this billion dollar club and what other ones could join this year as well? Well, I think you're right about Marvel. You know, Doctor Strange is coming off. It's not just a sequel. It's also a continuation of Spider-Man No Way Home. Right, yeah. So it's got two things going for it. Love and Thunder, the fourth Thor movie with a female Thor, presumably. Uh, Thor, Taika Waititi did such a great job with Ragnarok. I think, if nothing else, it's going to be a really fun movie to see. And like you said, never bet against Jimmy C. Everyone's always like, oh, Titanic, oh, Avatar, you know. Never, ever bet against James Cameron. Uh, I think he's going to show us things we've never seen before. I can't wait to see what he's cooked up. Certainly, he's had enough time to make it good. He certainly has. And, you know, I'll, I'll <laughs> throw a dark horse. I don't necessarily know if, if this is going to happen. But maybe Top Gun Maverick. Maybe. Mm. Only because, like movies like the original Terminator, when T2 came out, so many people had seen Terminator on home video and on cable that when T2 came out, huge audience awareness. Who hasn't watched Top Gun, like, in their lives? And I think with this kind of aerial photography, I think if it's as good as people say, and like you were talking about what you saw at CinemaCon. I'm telling you, man, that, that 15, 18, whatever, how many is the show was pretty jaw yeah i mean if it, if it shows us something in that aerial photography is that incredible i could see a wave of nostalgia and uh and and just excellence in filmmaking however maybe the last 25 years the audience doesn't really care like if you weren't a total 80s film fanatic and you didn't the last 20 years has not been full of top gun references <laughs> you know who who has lost their love and feeling lately and if they had would they remember it even <laughs> happened i mean no one but but i think if it, it could be that's my dark horse you know the thing i would say about top gun is this i i fear as great as i think the movie's going to be there's going to be a little bit of matrix syndrome attached there where this was just too long coming Yep. It was just too long coming. If they were going to do this, it should have been done literally a decade ago or more. Like maybe when Scott was still alive. I mean, they like that's when it should have been done. But I still think it's going to be awesome. And I think it's going to be a big hit. But I'm going to bet against it being in the Billion Dollar Club. Some people in the live chat are asking about, you know, um, uh, Black Panther 2. Same reasons I don't think it's going to hit a billion why, as to why it's not on my most anticipated list. It doesn't have Chadwick Boseman. And they wrote out T'Challa. So it doesn't have the the the... the Chadwick Boseman, the star, and it doesn't have the main character. I think it can still, and then you've got a lot, it's got some of its own controversy surrounding it and all that kind of stuff. So I think, again, it's going to be a hit. Hopefully it's the best film they've ever done, but I don't see it hitting a billion. None of us have brought up Jurassic World. Dominion. What about you, Oh, Kim? yeah, that. Like, you think in Jurassic World could maybe join that club? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I absolutely do. I think it's the return of the original cast that's going to pull people. That's going to pull people back it's in. It's going to be big. Because the way it's evolved, and and I'm so, oh, I hated when. Evolved? The, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> the way they did, they brought the dinosaurs to New York, I absolutely hated. But seeing the dinosaurs in suburban life, and, and again, just that last image of, of, of the uh, Mosasaurus coming through the waves while people were surfing. Oh, you're here. You're here in my backyard, at my barbecue, at my gender reveal. I'm going to hear here. here. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That's really I'm, good. That was wow, really that good. was pretty good. That was, that was pretty darn good. Thank you. I have nephews. Um, I'm so excited. I really do think don't sleep on Jurassic Park. Don't sleep on it. You know what? I totally forgot about that. I think you're absolutely right. Billion with dollars. with it's it's like the no way home of Jurassic Park movies. It is. So uh, and we're gonna you know we're getting all these people. <laughs> it is. I, I mean, dude, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, no come way. on. <laughs> of the Jurassic Park yeah, movies. I mean, you've got that. all the original cast coming back. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you, you feel me. But this is where you they're doing me. it. This is where because some people might say, well, wait, you are just saying that it's a little bit too late. Yeah, yeah. But this is bringing back the original cast. 
in a series they've already updated and has already been going. This is a just added extra flavor to it. The story makes sense. So I think you're right. I think Jurassic World Dominion, I think this does also hit a billion dollars. Yep. I think so. Here's another one. <clears throat> what about Aquaman 2? Now, the first Aquaman kind of surprised a lot of people, and it became the first DCU movie to hit a billion dollars at the box office. And I think most people had a pretty delightful time watching Aquaman. We saw it together, and I certainly did. Well, I still remember. We went to go see it at Universal City Walk. Yeah. And I still remember us walking out of Universal City Walk and going, that was pretty damn good. I mean, I mean just, it was so fun. wacky. Yeah. I mean, it was delightful. The trailers I, for it were amazing, too. Sorry, Rob. I mean, it, no, it, no, it no, no, the trailers were great. The marketing for it was great, like the colors and everything. I was excited to see an Aquaman movie, and I never thought that would happen. I mean, and, and that new suit so is loud. badass. I want that Hot Toys figure. Come on now. The suit, <laughs> the suit itself looks great. Um, it's delightful. It's been a bit. Can, can it make a billion dollars? But the power of Momoa. The power of Momoa. Say. There are a lot of ladies out there that like seeing this dude. I mean, come on. There's a lot. Look, like, there's a lot of dudes Not who like seeing this dude. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 Momoa, yeah. I love yeah. Momoa. I think he's great. He's a, so. he's a great Aquaman. He's, but, but quick, quick show of hands. Do we think Aquaman 2 is going to make a billion dollars? Show of hands. No. Oh, Ray's going to go yes. I'll go yes. I'm going to go a billion yeah, too. I'll go Rob's gonna barely. Go. Barely, but it'll hit a billion. A billion. I think you so know too. what? I bet against well, Aquaman 1 making $800 million. Like, I knew it would be a hit. I, I said forever it was going to be a hit, but I said I don't think it's going to hit $800 million, and then ended up making a billion. I'm going to make the same mistake again. I don't think it hits a billion. Hold, hold I on. think again. I think it'll be a big hit, but I don't think it's going to hit it. What month does it release? I don't think till December. Yeah, the, the, oh, much wow. much later in the yeah yeah it's way. Some, oh, I don't know then. That's but that's when it. Oh, that's when the first one opened was in a December. But and it's made up a, against Avatar and all the other. Is there any other big? We're going to be waterlogged well, in December. Oh, waterlogged. Oh, yeah. but, yeah, swimming up. But Pandora. here's the thing though. With the Aquaman. first Aqu it almost doesn't matter because the first Aquaman only opened with like what fifty million dollars. So it doesn't matter if not a lot of people see it opening weekend and there's a lot of movies to go around. Like, remember, Christmas time is when most people go to the movies. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of pie to go around to get okay. your share of the pie, okay. right? And the thing that made Aquaman cross a billion was the legs that it had. Mm. When, when did we see it, John, in Canada? We saw it in Canada. It was like two oh, weeks we after. we did go see it in Canada. With your mom and That's everybody. Right. We, we were at the dining theater. I had these shrimp tacos. They were amazing. <laughs> Why did I remind myself? Now I want that. But yeah, we and did. And my mom it. loved it. I don't yeah. remember the movie, but, but I remember the shrimp taco. taco. It, was, it, was, it was. It was two. <laughs> it was. I think it was two weeks after the release. Maybe three weeks. Probably. Yeah. Did you feel we, guilty eating shrimp tacos watching Aquaman? Oh my god! I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Well, maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe that's why I ordered it. <laughs> All right, guys. Question is for you, though. What do you think? Number one, what do you think is going to be the film to be the 50th member of the Billion Dollar Club? And then what other films this year do you think have a really good, legitimate shot of making a billion? Some people saying Sonic the Hedgehog 2. No. The <laughs> Resident only made like $300 million. So, uh, no. But I'm looking forward to it. But the question is, what movies do you think it could do? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.